This image of St. Paul's Cathedral was taken in August 2018 during an open evening and reproduced in Amateur Photographer magazine in November 2020 for my article about photographing church interiors. It is handheld at a fifteenth of a second. I produced a video for the article. Click link on the top of this screen. Although rescued by effective image stabilizers in camera and lens, having to handhold was not the only problem. By including stained glass windows, I have increased the dynamic range of the image requiring a special technique during photography with post-production in mind. The electronic finder is invaluable for spot metering. This is not possible with an optical finder, unless your camera screen has live view. I metered for a point where shadow areas are more underexposed than overexposure in stained glass. Neither is ideal, because a grossly overexposed window is impossible to correct in post-production, and heavy shadows lightened too much also in post-production, can introduce noise. I am not a fan of HDR finding colors manufactured. Once selected, I half depressed the shutter button to lock and recomposed before taking the picture. This is what the image out of camera looked like, and it takes quite a bit of practice to get the exposure balance right for what is to follow. We now move to post-production in Adobe Lightroom, and by the way, save to RAW, as it gives more flexibility for adjustments than a JPEG. First, I whack highlights and whites right down. This restores color back into the stained glass, provided, of course, they aren't too overexposed in the first place. Then, I carefully increase blacks and shadows, but not too much, as it will add noise. White balance change to auto. Use sliders to fine tune if required. Exposure taken down a tad and color profile changed. For the final touch, I increase clarity, not too much again, and vibrance. I prefer increasing vibrance instead of saturation, as it is more subtle. And that's it. But don't run away with the feeling that this demo will work the same way for every picture taken in St. Paul's Cathedral. Each requires its own skill in photo technique and post-production. And best of all, I can change it, even start again, six months later, if I don't like it.